Okay. This is a 1977 month of 74. That'd make it 75, wouldn't it? Let's go on these little pans, the bottom part. This part seems solid. All this solid. It's got the original stripe. Let's see. Can't see it good. It's got a little bit of spot right there. Not a whole lot. Frame's in pretty good shape. Oh. It's got a little bit right there, you can see. A little bit of rust. Not a whole lot. Still got spare tire on it. Not really a hole or nothing, just well, you can see with some ice spray where it started to rust. Let's see. Really, full pans where you look looks like you put your feet's a little rough. Door jams, pretty solid. You can see where they as soon as it started rusting, I guess they painted on it. The door jams, pretty good shape on this one. Bottom of the door a little bit. Here, there, and yonder. Uh, let's see. A little bit right there on the rocker panel, but for the most part, the rocker seems solid. Alright. And this is a Ranger. It has a chrome down the side. There's chromes here. I just hadn't, I gotta put it on. Seventy-five model that still has the smog pump, and it's automatic. It's got smog pump. It's got power steering. Only thing it's missing is power brakes. It's got three hundred two, and the engine does turn. Belt's a little stuck on the smog pump, but I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It does turn. It ain't just a fan turning. So, just me being me, everything's intact, it might do it. I'm supposed to set a battery in this thing and see if it'll fire up. Okay, being as I didn't uh, know where the battery was, I had set aside for it. I had to look for it, but there's another shot of the body. It's like I said, it's got that rust right there, but rest of it looked like it had some surface maybe. But all this solid, no bondo, original paint. The door has a little spot on this side. Has the Ranger trim, and last looks like 1988 last inspection sticker but smog pump I I have not seen a smog pump on one of these and it still has the catalytic converter so which is rare for a 75 2 to still have the catalytic converter original muffler that's original dirt dauber too but the frame's got a little a little scaly to it, but it's not, it's really not in bad shape. It's automatic. Now here's the bottom of the floor pan. It doesn't appear that bad right here. Mostly the driver is missing. Let's see. It has a little starting to bubble up, but it's no hole. It's just starting right there. Uncut 75. I've got Ford lockers. Yes, I have drive shafts for it. I don't know. They're not in it at the moment. Okay. Battery cables don't look too bad. We'll put that on there. 
little trick, battery cable, turn it upside down, get a little contact, maybe that'll work. I don't know, I haven't tried. Hey, look, we got some blinker. <laughs> Imagine that. Let's go back here and see if the back one works. Oh, no tail light. Uh oh, we'll have to fix that. Can't drive it like that. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh no, four ways on. They must have been flat towing this thing when that guy got it. He seemed like a pretty good guy. And he said he don't know if it runs or not. He ain't even tried it. I ain't put no gas in the carburetor. I'm just going to turn it over and see what it... <laughs> like I thought, battery come. Connection, probably. Uh, I might end up putting battery cables on here, but... Right now, I just want to see if it'll turn over. And then if it'll turn over, I'll pour some gas in it, see if it'll fire. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Wipers on. And see, that's another thing. It's got, I know it's hard to see all that stuff there. The headliner, the wiper cover, the, all that stuff. Now, let's see. It's gonna be that one right there. You know what, just in case it does, we're gonna do this. It might turn over on one start, never know. Great thing about these old fours been sitting. Put your little gas in the bowl like that right there. It needs a little lubrication in supply. place. I'm going to rebuild a carburetor, of course. Now, unless somebody just offered me some stupid money for it, and I'll sell it without doing any of that. But let's see if it is so far. I stopped pouring it directly in the carburetor as much as possible. It's best to just stick it in the bowl because you pour gas all over the place, you get back and it backfires. You know what gas does. If you don't know what gas does, don't mess with cars, please. Or pay somebody else to do it or something. I done this to one Bronco one day and it, it fired up and ran great on the gas that was in it. And it's been from 1988. It might have been back when the gas was still good. <laughs> they might actually run. <laughs> Smell like damn wood varnish, but it might actually run. And it's electronic ignition, so I ain't got to worry about cleaning the points on this one. I just got to worry about being in time. And with that gel run out of it, a lot of people worry that won't run, but chances are even with that gel, they'll run. Without a gel, I mean, let's see. That it. I'm going to clean the battery cables and turn this back on in a minute. All right, I'm done with the playing with it. I got the battery cable. All right. Now, that's just a good-looking Bronco right there. Yeah. All right, that's a good-looking Bronco. It's got a little spot here. They need to be. They need to start doing a patch right there, cause that's the worst part of the kick panel. The other side is a little. It's still somewhat there, but up here, it's other than the rat nest. All that's intact, and actually, this is still intact. Which a lot of those are done rotted in plastic. Like I said, I pulled it out of a barn, the old chicken farm barn. Uh. Guy seemed to be pretty good, you know, describing it to me. That's what he described. Let's see. Now, what you know it? Oh yeah, drip rail all around the top is in good shape. You see a little bit running down, but there's I have not seen any holes in the top. 
up here. It's all, the top's in really good shape. And it's got a white dash pad in it. I'm not used to seeing a white dash pad in them. Normally they're all black. Let's see here. Oh, well. Oh, oh. ah, might have to do a ground cable. <sighs> That's the aggravating part. Oh, it tried to turn. Oh yeah, chrome missing off the side. It's right there. It's in there. Got one of the panels that goes on the side. This is one of the seats. Got the other seat laid over here beside it. Got them parts. Got everything this thing needs. Except the good connection. Got everything with a good connection. That's what we got. And I think it is the ground wire. Like I thought. Oh, and I hooked. I got one of the fancy little light things. Look here. Can't see the name on it no more. It's a Mac, but I like Mac tools because I like Diller. The snap-on guy, I didn't like him too much. I was 17, starting out. Mac guy, he said, okay, I'll give you this amount of bunch of credit. And he gave me some credit, and I always paid him. And he done me fair. I like using Mac because of the, the guy selling the tools. A lot of times, even if something's better, I'll buy something else just because I don't want to deal with people. I don't know how you treat people when you're selling stuff. tank's empty or the gas ain't no good or something but it ran run slick as a button i could hear that damn smog pump though thing run that's what i wanted to know i wonder if there's can't see it let's see that's lights come on oh look at there we got one Yeah, the oil pressure gauge moves, so that's the plus. Alrighty. So I guess I'll be chasing a fuel problem tomorrow. Well, never mind. Tomorrow, I'm, I just got back off the trip. I'm going to unload this stuff. and Tomorrow, I'm taking my ass to a break. Y'all have a good night.